the small town of Harriman, Tennessee, there stands a building that once served as a beacon of hope, a place where the sick and injured came seeking care. But today, the old Harriman Hospital is known less for healing and more for the hauntings that have captured the attention of paranormal investigators. Today, we venture into this abandoned hospital where the past lingers and the spirits are said to roam. Hello, friends. My name is Marcia, and this is Midwest Ghost Hunters. The old Harriman Hospital opened its doors in the early 1930s, serving the community for decades as a primary health care facility. During its years of operation, the hospital witnessed thousands of births, countless surgeries, and many tragic deaths. Like many old hospitals, its walls have seen a lot, some of which, according to local lore, still lingers within. The hospital closed in the early 2000s. It has recently become a hotspot for paranormal investigations. The most common claims include sightings of shadow figures moving through the hallways, unexplained voices echoing in the empty rooms, and sudden cold spots that chill visitors to the bone. Some even say that the spirit of a former doctor still roams the surgery wing, while the cries of a woman in pain can be heard in the old maternity ward. One particularly eerie tale speaks of Nurse Joanne, whose ghost is said to continue her rounds, checking on patients who are no longer there. With so many reports of paranormal activity, we were eager to see what we might uncover during our investigation. Armed with our usual tools, EMF detectors, digital recorders, and infrared cameras, we set out to document any strange occurrences. We covered every floor of the hospital, from the darkened basement cafeteria to the abandoned surgery rooms. As the night progressed, we began to have some intriguing experiences. We distinctly heard voices, and on the second floor, the unmistakable sound of running footsteps. Despite our best efforts, we could not trace the source of these noises. They seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere all at once. Our investigation continued on the third and fourth floors, where we used cat balls, those small, motion-activated balls that light up when moved. To our surprise, the balls lit up, seemingly in response to our questions. While this isn't definite proof of paranormal activity and we are skeptical, it was certainly intriguing and added to the overall spookiness of the night. She did not tell us about what was happening up on this floor as far as, you know, um, what kind of patients you had up here. Got it. So can you tell me um, what what was this part of the hospital used for? After reviewing our audio and video recordings, we found that while we didn't capture any concrete evidence of the paranormal, the experiences we had, especially the voices, the running, and the response of cat balls, cannot be easily explained. It's these kinds of moments that keep us coming back, searching for answers in places where the line between the living and the dead seem to blur. Even without definitive proof, our night at the old Harriman Hospital was far from uneventful. The voices, footsteps, and unexplained movements all suggest that something, whether a residual energy or an active spirit, might still be lingering within these walls. For us, this investigation was a reminder that the paranormal is elusive, but those fleeting moments of the unexplained make the search worthwhile. We left the old Harriman Hospital with more questions than answers, but that's often the nature of this work. We encourage you to visit Harriman, take a tour of the hospital, and see if you can uncover the secrets that we encountered. The truth is out there. You just have to be willing to find it. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and may the truth reveal itself in the shadows.